Hey team, welcome back to this section of the channel. This week on Bad Come of the Week, we're going to give you a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced level drill for you to work on to help you get better at boxing. So, beginner level. We're going to throw a one, two, one, two, and add some kind of head movement as well. But what I want you to work on is emphasize the last shot. I'll do it slowly. So, we're going to throw a one, two, one, two. However, that last shot is going to be your power shot. So, the first three, we're not really rotating fully. You know, normally, we would fully rotate on these shots. Okay, we're tap, 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 whack. Emphasize the last shot. I'm going to put a little slip to the outside of the last punch on. So slowly, it would be jab, cross, jab, cross, slip to the outside of the last punch. But really emphasize the speed of the first three and the power of the fourth punch. And don't forget the slip. So it's here. And a little slip on the end. Make sure that we're not going... Hands here, okay, hand back to the chin, back to the chin, and drive that last shot, slip your head to the outside, and go from there. So let's have a look at the intermediate one for the week. So, intermediates. The key skills are gonna be the same. It's gonna be a one, two, one, two. However, we're gonna add an up and over step on the last shot and incorporate a pivot step as well. So we've still got the touch, touch, touch. As you throw the power shot, you're gonna take your front foot up and over as you throw the step and incorporate a pivot step on the end. Of course, if you want to, you can form another attack on the end as long as you have another exit. So we still have and the move. I'll do it slow. Jab, cross, jab, power cross as you move the front foot up and over. So we are Going a foot strike with the opposite foot, opposite hand, up and over, drop the weight to the back foot, clear the head out of the line, and you can fire back if you want to. And move. So, that's your intermediate level one for the week. Let's have a look at advanced. So, advanced. First things first. Disclaimer, I discovered this punch accidentally. Uh, so I have zero evidence whether this would work in a fight or not. It's a bad drill. And I discovered the punch by pure accident. As if you've been following along, you know I now have to actually box. If I'm doing anything for any period of time, I have to box Southport. So when I was boxing Orthodox, I would switch a lot, i.e. I'd pop my jab, it came from Thai boxing as well, switch dance and create a different angle from here. So I was trying to do that on a bag a few weeks ago, and I was doing it southport, and my head got in a bit of a muddle. And instead of throwing the jab and stepping through, I actually done a lateral step and threw a hook at the same time. And I liked it. So just bear in mind, I have zero evidence that this would actually work in a fight, but it's a nice little footwork drill for you to work on as well. So <clears throat> this is going to involve an up and over step with a jab cross. So as an orthodox, your left foot is going to go up and over. So moving in that diagonal line we spoke about in the footwork, up and over on the jab, the cross is going to come in as the back foot comes in as well. You're then going to take a lateral step with your lead hook, key point, if you, can't, if you can't throw a hook without keeping a hand up, don't try this, because you're probably gonna run into something. So a lateral step with that hook. Then it's a 180 degree shift as I load this shoulder for another left hook to the body. So I'll do it slowly, it looks like this. Up and over on the jab, up and over on the cross. Lateral step with the right leg as I throw the lead hook, boom. Then a 180 degree shift, load that shoulder and another hook to the body from there. It's a nice little footwork drill to have a play around with. So from here, a bit slower, up and over, lateral step with the hook, hand on chin, 
180 degree turn, load the lead shoulder and throw the hook to the body again. Bear in mind I have no evidence that actually works, it was just a fun drill to play around with, requires quite a little bit of footwork detail. Let me know how you get on with it, whether you liked it, whether you didn't, and I'll see you next time.